222 day, we will talk about render and one of the things that has led to its rapid increase in price well past its previous all-time high of just under $8. And in this video, I want to concentrate on how long the concept of render has actually been around. Otoy is the parent company of render and they received a patent in 2009 for a token based billing model for server side rendering, which is now known as the render token. And to note up front, Otoy partners include Apple, Disney, Cinema, Hordi, Mattel, and a lot of others which are called out here. So you have people like IBM involved in expert advisory. You've got Google and Microsoft involved with GPU access. And a big one that I think will have a lot of potential soon is with Apple because they are actually integrating Apple device GPU computation power into render network. But arguably the most significant connection is with nvidia and as i will explain there are a lot of ties there and that has a lot of potential in terms of how high render can actually go so before i get into the patent itself we are in the early innings of a massive transformation in 2023 it began with absolutely no text to video AI and rendering. And in just one year, it expanded to millions of people generating AI videos. And here is another example of that, which actually calls out examples of that. And here is a bit more related to the actual patent and a bit of context and history around it. Jules Erbach is the CEO of Otoy, who is the parent company of Render. He is proud that he patented Render before Bitcoin ever even existed. All of the Apple Vision Pro app archive Render was rendered on the Render network. There are already four AI companies all pursuing a different application on the render network now with about six to eight proposals in the pipeline. He also clearly addressed that Otoy is indeed connected to the render network and how the success and expansion of Otoy directly correlates to render and the render network itself. The Apple partnership goes back 13 years and they are working on an AI platform called Octane GPT. And here is the actual patent itself. That is what the render network is today. And it is a token based billing model for delivering server side rendered applications to remote users with a token representing a right to access a server side rendered application. Each remote user is associated with one or more tokens. When a given token expires, the set of tokens associated with a user is reduced. The rate at which tokens expire is modulated on the combined load across the resources of the server side render application provider, as well as the individual loads attributable to each of the individual users. And it has a lot of information here. It was first filed in 2009 and it was granted in 2010 initially, and it will not expire at this point in time until 2034. It does have a lot of technical content in here. I'm not the kind of person who can explain all of this easily. So I asked AI to, to help me with that. 
and it explains that the patent describes a way to charge people for access to applications that are run on remote servers instead of their own devices, which are known as server-side rendered applications. It describes a system that uses tokens to control how long users can access the application. The number of tokens a user has and how quickly that they expire depends on how much the server is being used in total and by that user specific. In a combination of an easier explanation and a little bit more technically uh, specific terms, the patent describes a system for applications that run on servers and not on a user's device, which includes applications that are d demanding like high qu quality video games. The system uses tokens like tickets to an amusement park. Each token allows access to the application for a certain amount of time. Users get a set of tokens and can spend them. The twist is that tokens don't expire at a particular time. Instead, the system considers two things. One, overall server load. If a lot of people are on the application at the same time, tokens expire faster for everyone to be able to share the resources and individual user load. If a single user is using the application very heavily, tokens expire faster to prevent them from hogging resources, which results in a system that ensures fair access and prevents overloading servers. And with all of that explained and the implications on the tokenomics and the potential values involved, there is no next render. There are four of the trillion dollar big tech companies that are partners with render at this point in time, which are Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, and Google. Render right now is at a $4 billion market cap, which in my opinion is extremely low for where things are actually headed with AI and because we are now into a bull run that will extend into 2024 and into 2025. And here are examples of how Jules Erbach is actually involved in each of these. So here you've got the CEO of NVIDIA on stage with Jules. Here is an example of Apple. We have one with Google as well, and another one that is talking about their involvement with Microsoft. And all of those are clearly called out here on this map. 